Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here. Uh, this week I'm just going to circle back on the Southwestern Vehicle Auctions Classic Car Auction that took place a few days ago. Uh, just uh, look at the prices that the cars went for. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so I thought I'd zone in on the Triumphs that were for sale at uh, Southwestern Vehicle Auctions. It was quite interesting. There was quite a good diversity of cars. And as you can see there, we looked at the Triumph Spitfire in the previous video before the auction took place. It's a 1500, 1977 with 57,800 odd miles, not warranted. Um, sold for 5,700, which looks to be a pretty decent deal. It was uh, just a full up body restoration just 5,000 miles ago and um, looked a very very good buy with the paperwork and the history uh, that came along with that. Uh, interesting enough, there were two or three stags up for grabs this time round. Um, this one, Lot 43, which was a kind of late one, 1976 uh, in red, uh, 99,000 mile Mark II uh, was on uh, the market and uh, sadly didn't sell. So um, it is actually on a buy it now for eight and a half grand, which looks to me a very good price. I love the uh, white wall tires on the uh, wheels here. I think they that really sets the car off we had that a few years ago on one of the stags that we owned and i was quite impressed with it um so that's still there guys if you want to reach out to the chaps at southwestern vehicle auctions it is a buy it now price for eight and a half grand uh, as it obviously didn't sell during the auction itself never mind i'm sure it's a good car and worth um worth a look this second one a triumph stag earlier one this time 1972 in yellow it looks like inca yellow with the uh, uh, mini light wheels there again uh, that looks really good l registered uh, sold for 8050 plus the buyer's premium of course as well it's actually a mark one uh, finished in its original color i tell a lie it's saffron yellow not inca, inca yellow with the black soft top over black interior and um was a restoration project and has had a bit of welding new pans new sills scuttle and history with it as well so 8050 got you that a saffron which actually i quite like that saffron color it's kind of a quite a, a musty dusky yellow and uh, i think that sets off the car and the stag in particular very very well uh, next one that sold was for 8200 so interesting we're around about eight eight and a half grand for a triumph stag at auction this one uh, with 25 863 miles again none of this can be warranted these cars are um, well 50 years old now aren't they this one's a 1974 a good example of the stag and michelotti's greatest ever design as we know designed on the triumph saloon and um, finished in a maroon colour, dark, dusky uh, red uh, with black soft top and cream interior and maroon piping and um, had around £15,000 worth of invoices that went with that as well. And that sold for 8200 So someone's got a real good bargain there. I love the wire wheels on this with the knock-on, knock-off um, fixings. I guess that's uh, um, part of the feature. It's all in chrome. It looks really, really smart. And uh, again, would have been a great buy for the person who got that. And then last but not least is the triumph tr7 this was a convertible version a 1981 sold for just five grand that's a lot of car for the money and um, if you've looked under the bonnet of one of these cars you'll see half a stag engine basically it's a four cylinder um um, half a v8 basically but it's a very similar engine to the stag and uh, this one was finished in carnelian red with a tan soft top and uh, for five grand with open top motoring there um, guaranteed in the summertime i think that's quite a quite a, a good deal it really is I, I love the style of the tr7 i know it's a more contemporary style than perhaps the traditional 1970s cars but this was of its time 1980 and um yeah, it was a, a very good deal so a good array of cars uh, very interesting in terms of pricing and what things are going for currently i guess we're at the uh, tail end of the year now we're in the autumn time but um, nevertheless looks like there's some good bargains to be had there and uh, obviously the next auction will be coming up soon and i'll put that link in the description if you want to see the full auction video and the uh, full breakdown of the list then check out in the description and i'll put that there th so you can seek out and have a look at all the other cars that went on the day but uh, what a great day for triumphs um and uh, one still up for grabs so uh, grab a bargain whilst you can guys all right guys hope you enjoyed that really interesting to see what the cars have gone for and uh, i think it's uh, interesting just to see how buoyant the classic car sector is and uh, the pool classic car auction southwestern vehicle auction seems to be getting better and better every time i see it so uh, let's look forward to the next one okay that's it for this week guys have a great week and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the stag very soon. Cheers for now. All the best. Bye.